Uh, wildfires in April. Local fire crews, they've already had to respond to several brush fires in recent days. A video from the Butano fire. Uh, that fire has burned about three acres in the burn scar of the CZU Lightning Complex fire. The unseasonably warm, dry weather along with winds, uh, that's not helping. For more on how firefighters are dealing with these conditions, bracing for an early fire season, we go to Cronfor's Gail Ong, joining us live from Union City. Gail? Yeah, Catherine. Now, in Contra Costa County alone today, they've had several grass fires and also had responded to several grass fires in recent weeks. Uh, this is, these are the hills right behind Fremont. Now, we watch them. They are green now if you were to look at them during the day, but we've watched those hills turn brown as... Uh, as we see the lack of rain throughout this season. So firefighters are closely monitoring those high risk areas and they want to remind residents to be prepared. This is the time of year for homeowners to act now to protect their homes, their families, their properties and neighborhoods uh, from the threat of wildfire. We Taking care of that defensible space, cutting their weeds back, limbing up trees, a lot of the work that they probably would have waited a little bit later in the season, they're they're eager to get started on. These fires are the reason why firefighters are getting the word out to be prepared. Unseasonably warm weather mixed with dry vegetation are creating wildfire fuel and growing drought concerns. And April 1st is usually expected to be the time where the plants are growing vigorously with high fuel moisture content, lots of new growth. And to our surprise, we didn't see any of that. Meteorology professor Craig Clements runs the Wildfire Interdisciplinary Research Center at San Jose State. He spent Friday afternoon looking at the conditions in the Santa Cruz Mountains. There is no new growth on any of the shrubs that we were sampling, which indicates that the drought or this lack of rain we've had this winter has been uh, really affecting the fuels. And so the fuels are already starting out drier than they should. And this record drought is going to be a, a problem this summer. The Bay Area is already seeing fires pop up in recent weeks. Thursday night, Contra Costa County firefighters responded to a grass fire in Antioch suspected of arson. It just points out the fact that the conditions are ripe uh, for heightened fire danger, and it, it served as a reminder to all of us that we need to be careful in all of our outdoor activities. In the North Bay, five and a quarter million dollars has been set aside for both the city of Santa Rosa and Sonoma County as a result of the pg and &E settlements after the Tubbs fire in 2017. In the meantime, Paul Lowenthal, the assistant fire marshal of the Santa Rosa Fire Department, is encouraging residents to be extra vigilant. That lack of rain doesn't necessarily mean that we're going to start seeing those devastating fires right away, but we could very well see them much earlier uh, in the season than we have historically in the past. Now, starting April 7th, that is next Wednesday, the city of Santa Rosa, they want to improve the residents' uh, alert warning capabilities ahead of fire season. So they're going to be giving away uh, these radios. These are uh, NOAA weather radios. They're going to give away 12,000 of them for free. Now, um, these only cost about $20, $30, and they can really save your life. They're a good backup if you lose cell service or power. Live in Union City, Gail Ong, Cron for News. Gail, tell us a little more about the radios. How do they work exactly? Well, sure. Um, so, Catherine, these, um, now they don't rely on cell service. They are operated by battery only. And you're going to get an alert through the National Weather Service. So you want to keep this on during those times of severe weather all year round, really. So, um, typically, if you live in a tornado-prone area, you're probably more familiar with these. Um, where, you know, with these fires we've seen in recent and uh, years past, especially in Santa Rosa, where they have seen back-to-back -back devastating fires since around 2017. Um, typically, you lose cell service, you lose power, so it is difficult to get those alerts through your cell phone if you sign up through that way. So officials really want people to take that extra step. It doesn't hurt to have a backup like this. So I just got this a few months ago. Uh, like I mentioned, these hills over here, uh, we're not too far from from the SCU complex lightning fire. So that prompted me and my family to have a plan in, in place. So these can really help in case of an emergency, Catherine. Makes sense, good idea. All right, Gail Long reporting live for us in Union City tonight. Thanks, Gail.